Here, let's see if you guys can figure out which one of these voices is current me and which one of these voices is past me. Okay, here we go. Hello, and welcome to me, Luke, playing Minecraft. Hello, and welcome to me, Luke, playing Minecraft! I'm the best impersonator of me I know. I need to get out of here. Hey guys, and welcome back to another video by me, Luke, and, um, see, it's the New Year's, today is New Year's Day, and I just hit 10 subscribers. Big milestone, I know! Aren't you so impressed with my negotiation skills? So, I found it funny that when I was running my old channel years ago, it took me so long to hit 10 subscribers and make a video about that. Like, look, if we go through my videos one by one, it takes me one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three videos just to hit ten subscribers. Woo! That's, uh, that's pretty bad. Hey everyone, it's your friend Luke, and I just wanted to say thank you to 10 subscribers. Woohoo! Now I know 10 is very much, and I'm really But, I mean, it's a start, right? I mean, nobody's ever gotten to a million without getting 10 first. And you gotta celebrate. Woohoo! So yeah, this is my little time to celebrate. Thank all ten of you subscribers for subscribing. I know some of you watch and like you can't subscribe for reasons. And I thank you too for watching my videos. In fact, I thank everyone who's ever been on my channel. So yeah, thank you all. You've made a tremendous part in my YouTube channel because without you, I would never go to ten and but that too, you can't get to a million. Right? I mean, yeah. Or I'm pretty sure I am. But, you know, you have to have faith. So, thank you all for all of this. Wow. I just want to thank each and every one of you. So, yeah. Thank you. And, um, yeah. I'll see you all again soon. Thanks for watching. And goodbye. What did I just watch? What was that? It's your friend Luke. Did I copy that from Think Noodles or something? Also, the music was so overpowering, you could not hear a single thing I said, especially when I was quiet. And why was I quiet? Was it awkward humor or something? I don't even know what past Luke thought humor was. Anyway, also, what was that music choice? That's the most generic YouTube music you could ever pick. Why am I just swirling the camera around my Minecraft character? I mean, could I not have done something more creative? I kept saying that you had to have faith and that you can't get to a million subscribers without getting 10. First off, do you really think that you're going to get a million subscribers? That is such a high goal to set as soon as you get on YouTube. Second, why are you acting like it's such a great deal to get 10 subscribers? I just got 10 subscribers after posting one video and I got them all in a single day. Wowzers, go me. Also, why was I constantly saying that it was such a thing to celebrate? I think that when I got on YouTube, I was like, people would just randomly stumble into my content and say, oh yeah, I like hearing that kid whine about games all day long. I'm gonna subscribe. But then I found that after like, what was it, 23 videos, that's gonna be a lot harder. So I guess I set my expectations really low, but at the same time, set them really high. Celebrating for such a low number, but also expecting to get a million in the future. What was I thinking? <clears throat> you know what? This video deserves a big fat dislike from its creator. That's it's a bit sad. I'm kind of scared about the fact that saying comments aren't supported on private videos because I made all my old videos private without knowing what unlisted was. So you can have comments on unlisted videos but not private. I'm a bit scared that making it private deleted my comments. So I don't really want to make them unlisted because I'm scared 
that I'm just going to lose all the memories even though currently I don't have them. That doesn't make any sense. It's like saying behind a door you could have $100,000 or none. And I'm scared of opening the door because I don't want to get the nun, even though there's a 50-50% chance that I get the 100,000. But not opening the door gives me a zero chance I get the 100,000. But I'm scared of having a higher chance of getting it. It's just kind of weird. You know, I often complain about how high my voice is, but when you listen to the old Luke, you really get a feel for how much it has changed over the last, what, two and a half years? Here are just a few highlights to this horrifying video. Hello, and welcome to me, Luke, playing Minecraft. And I just want to tell you, most people think I'm like <clears throat> six or even younger. I am not six. I just happen to have a light, pitchy voice, okay? And I can I barely have had any growth spurts. So I look like I'm six, and I sound like I'm six, but I'm not six. Okay? Okay. I've made lots of worlds. And they're all, <clears throat> really most of them, creative. Really the only ones that are survival are the ones that my friends have made. Hey there, future Link. Future Link. Future Link cutting in here. Ah! Hey there, future Luke cutting in here. I just want to say that when I first started playing Minecraft, I did a survival game. And on my first night, a skeleton shot me, but I thought that it was a knight in armor, and I was so scared of survival mode that I just played creative mode for years and years because I was scared of that knight. And then when I asked someone, hey, have you seen that knight in survival mode? They're like, what are you talking about? We are going to make a new world called Luke's World. There we go. And I may have said Luke's planet, I don't remember. And when I typed Luke's world, uh, I can't really remember that well. That's another thing about me, I forget very easily. So, this is our world. We're on an island. Huh. The worst types of place to spawn are on an island or, well, place we're connected to some land, but on an island or peninsula. Why did I pronounce it peninsula? It's, it's peninsula. 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 Uh. Peninsula. 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 Why did I pronounce peninsula? Peninsula. Wait, wait, did I still take speech back then? I don't think I took speech back then. I was going to showcase more highlights from the rest of the video, but I really got bored. So that's not happening anytime soon. Free game Friday. Oh my gosh, I remember that. That was the worst thing. It was just playing these crappy games in talking about them. I don't, I don't find pleasure in that. My Minecraft survival series, that was, that was really bad. I remember one time I was working on an episode and I found a lost footage for another episode that I just hadn't uploaded. And I was like, wait, did I leave a gap out in all of my videos? And I checked my videos, and no, there's not a gap. So I watch the video, and I'm confused about where it takes place. And then I realize, that's the next video. I made that video, then made another video. So then I started editing the episode that came after the other one, without remembering to edit the first one. And I've forgotten what that one looked like. I was a different person on YouTube back then. Why are my lips so red in that design? It's just so unnatural. I eventually did change it to be like a darker shade of tan than my skin, but why? And why does my shirt have such a weird noise effect? It doesn't have shading, it's just random noise. And what are the with those shoes? I just, 
I don't know what my past self was doing. doing. Why did I play I Spy Spooky Mansion? That's just unnecessary. No one would ever watch that. No one would ever watch that. Also, what are these titles? Is that a ghost machine? Oh no, how scary. My first death. Oh good golly gosh, no, not death. We can't talk about death on a kid's channel. How do you build she's? Actually, that's a that's a fair point. Channel trailer, oh gosh, this has got to be bad. It doesn't even have a description yet. Hello, and welcome to my channel. <clears throat> I play lots of games, ranging from Minecraft <clears throat> to, min to Machinarium, from iSpy <clears throat> to Hypixel, and lots of other different games. <clears throat> <clears throat> My name is Luke, and I feature all sorts of games ranging from E to E to L. I usually post one <clears throat> Minecraft, sorry about that, video per day. I hope, I hope you enjoy. And that's really my channel. Play lots. I play lots of different games, and yeah, that's really just it. <clears throat> well, I'll see you guys again soon. Thanks for watching, everybody. Goodbye. Is that really what YouTube used to look like in 2016? Is that really what Safari used to look like on Mac in 2016? Is that really what my voice sounded like in 2016? Is that really what past self me thought was a lot of gains? I mean, I play Minecraft, I spy Spooky Mansion, Machinarium, and a server on Minecraft. Wowzers! That's a lot of content! Why did I list Hypixel like it was a different game from Minecraft? It, it's a server. And why do I only have three subscribers with four videos? I did not know what self-promotion was. I just thought, oh, I make videos. People will be attracted to my content. Like, what the heck was wrong with me? And a channel trailer is not just scrolling through the home page and talking about your channel. Why do that if the only people who are watching your channel trailer are the people who are already on your home page? You're only conveying information that is strictly obvious to them. And then reading your channel description that's two sentences long, and then correcting a mistake in the word Minecraft, but not even capitalizing it? What the heck? What did I think was quality content back then? <laughs> Why is my banner a picture of a barren land? Was it a metaphor for my channel? Why is my profile picture the Animaniacs? Why? I remember before the Animaniacs, I had a minion as a profile picture, and my friend Jason really wanted me to get a better profile picture, so I changed it to this, and he immediately said, No! No! Bring it back to the minion! And I kept it just to annoy him. I was such a weird child. What's interesting about these first couple videos is that they represent an easier and quite more enjoyable time in my YouTube life. Because I had an excuse to not edit my videos. I could trim that at the start and trim them at the end, but the YouTube editor wouldn't work on my browser. I had iMovie, but I didn't know how to use it. And I wasn't going to go spending money on video editors, so I had an excuse to not edit. And it was kind of fun to say, wow, I just made that video and I'm putting it on the web. That was really easy. I uploaded one a day. But then YouTube editor started working on my browser and then I found out iMovie worked and because of my perfectionist personality, I just had to do the very best that I thought I could do with what I had. And that led to my second stage of YouTube. I really wanted to up my quality so I made an intro and an outro and started putting more shows on my channel like the previously mentioned Free Game Friday, Training Ashley MC PC. Oh my gosh, that was a that was a horrible series. And also, then Ashley was like, I hate you now, Luke. And just moved out of the country or whatever, I don't even remember. I also had series like Escaping the Blank. 
and it was really weird. What happened with YouTube Editor is that it wasn't very powerful, so I ended up having to make multiple videos for one video. So I have to make the base video, then the edited video, then edit that video for some reason, I don't even know. And I had to make a different video for every part that I had forgotten. It really just got so annoying to me that I felt, I felt a bit overwhelmed. I remember that in between these first and second stages, I had started to download texture packs, and I was so proud of myself for finally getting them to work. I had never gotten them to work up until that point, so I was so proud of myself, and I thought everyone on the internet who I showed it to would also be proud of me. Eventually I reached a third stage, which was probably the most stressful stage I had ever faced in YouTube. I had to edit all the videos together, do all the resource packs and everything. I was using iMovie at this point. You can see that I used an iMovie trailer for my channel trailer now. I'm not even going to watch that because I don't want to know what that was like. It was like an advertisement for a movie, but for my channel, so you can imagine how crunchy that must be. And then I started doing a lot of things with Jason, like, who's your daddy with Jason? Return to the only level with Jason. I remember in some videos, we would be going great, and then eventually he would just kind of wear out. He would get unenthusiastic about it, and I would cancel the video, and I would say, you're just not enthusiastic enough, so we can't do the video. And I don't know what was wrong with my logic. I don't know why we couldn't have done it in two parts and edited it back together, but... <laughs> Anyway, I think this was the point that I actually made okay content, stuff that wasn't too cringy. I remember I made like a YouTube poop, let it grow but it's messed up, and I finally made something that I could possibly classify as entertainment. Like I think the first video I was so proud of was Disney World in Minecraft featuring Ui Remy Boo. I don't even remember what happened with her. It was really weird, like we were in contact and then we just kind of slowly didn't have contact. And then now I don't even know it, what her channel name is, so yeah. Oh, look, it's, it's right here in the description. Wow. And then I just kind of uploaded really sparsely for a long time. And then I reached where I am today making videos on a separate channel because this one is dead and I don't really play Minecraft anymore. I think I called each one of these states in my YouTube life a season, even though I couldn't really recognize what was changing with each season. I remember I said something really cringy back in season three that I, it was something along the lines of, I don't even know if there can be a season four. After all, I have everything I need to make great content. I can't imagine improving more than I have. I was using iMovie and QuickTime. Fun fact, I still use iMovie and QuickTime. If this video gets like seven likes because I'm really unpopular right now, maybe I'll make all these videos unlisted and put their links in the description so you guys can all see them. This video was brought to you by the National Orange Juice Foundation. Rolling the world, one sip at a time. Oh my gosh, that was actually a thing that I did. It was this organization KK Gwyn had come up with, and we were just going to put it in every single episode for some reason. I, we thought it was comedy. The National Orange Juice Foundation. Hey everyone, and welcome back to another video by me, Luke. And today I have a very special guest for you. Her name is KK. Can you introduce yourself, KK? Um, hello, my name is KK, and I'm probably going to be appearing on this videos a lot more. She's holding me hostage. What did I think humor was back then? What did I think humor was back then? What did I think? So I thought it would be fun to end off this episode by going back and playing through my Minecraft world that I had for a long time. Now keep in mind that I haven't played Minecraft in a long time so I'm probably going to die to these enemies and that will not be pleasant. Actually, you know what? I, I don't even care anymore. Let's see what I've got in here. Oh, wow. That's, that's a lot of stuff. I've got a spare bed in here. Bunch of coal in the furnace. Ooh, some iron. That's nice. Oh yeah, and I had this jumping pull down. Why didn't I 
put like a boat here so I could sail off into the place or somewhere useful. I feel like that's a missed opportunity. <laughs> what is that tree work? Was I trying to disguise it? That, <laughs> that is the worst thing I've ever seen. So for those of you who were lucky enough to not have watched my Minecraft series on my old channel, this is what my treehouse looked like. And I knew even at the time that it was really ugly. I was going to try and hide it with leaves, but I never really got to that. <laughs> Around here somewhere, there should be a staircase that I built into the side of the mountain. Yeah, here it is. Oh, and there's my little makeshift farm that I never ended up using. Oh my gosh. That, in my mind, that was a lot longer than it is here. It was like 50 blocks in the air, and this is... <laughs> Only a fifth of that. <laughs> I don't even know what I needed to come up here to do in the first place. Why did I build a staircase up here? What was I needing to get access to? Ooh! Ooh, down here. I feel like this was the place that I had my first death. Hold on, let me check on that. Yeah, this is where my first death was, to a creeper attack. Right next to this false cave. Ah, oh, it's such a piece of history. And I think this was the valley that I started in. Um, if I remember right, there should be a cave round here somewhere. Yeah, look, hey, look, if I just go through here. This was my first home. Oh, that's so cool. Wow, I really thought that I was far away where I ended up going to build my treehouse, but no. Nope. Oh, yeah, and I remember this little circle swimming pool thing. I think I was going to build a swimming park there just because I could. Ooh, my first house! These were the stairs I was talking about. Ah, now it makes so much more sense. Yeah, okay. And I guess I was building the stairs on the other side to try and connect a path from here to my treehouse, I guess? Because my treehouse is just through here. Yeah, so I guess I was trying to build a path to my old house. But why? If I have a new house, then why would I try and connect it to my old one? It doesn't really make much sense, to be honest. Let's see if I still have anything in here. Ooh, a bunch of useless junk I don't need anymore. Crafting table furnace. Ooh, that's a lot of coal. Why did I leave that here? And then window panes that went across the entire wall and were very unstylish. These aren't even panes, they're just blocks. I had no clue what... I was doing back then because this is atrocious. We've kind of got this key triangle here because that was where my first cave settlement was. That was my first house that I really put effort into. And then my treehouse was on the other side of that hill. So it's pretty cool. I think that's all the time I have to roast myself about my previous content and how bad it is. So thank you guys for watching to the end of this boring video. I really appreciate it. I just want to thank all of my friends. You're my special friends. You're my special friends. For subscribing, because now I have 10 subscribers. I, uh. Why did I celebrate that happen? Did I really think it was such an achievement? When I first tried to start YouTube, I thought, 100 subscribers. I'll get 100 subscribers in a day. And then I realized, oh. I've only gotten 10 subscribers. Well, there's not to see a huge celebration! If you enjoy my content, I would also appreciate a like, a comment, and maybe even a subscribe if you're that enthusiastic. Happy New Year to everyone. I hope that you stick with your New Year's resolution for as long as possible, if you have one. Mine is to, uh, be less cringy. I'll see you guys in another video. Happy New Year, but bye. Wow!